After all our hard work, we were able to beat the Elite Four. I got really lucky and was able to take out Lance's Dragonite. And now there's a fifth battle I gotta go to. So let's head to it. We've got to take on Choo Choo. Hey, Dumpus. I was looking forward to seeing you, Dumpus. Our rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion, Dumpus. Do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. And it is final boss time. We are up against Choo Choo, and Choo Choo is indeed the most powerful trainer in the world right now, except for us. He starts out with a Pidgeot. You will always have that if you are playing these versions of the game. If you're playing the originals, he will have the Pidgeot at level 61 in red and blue, no matter what you chose. But in yellow, he will start off with a Sand Slash, level 61. I've got Cube out front. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Charge. I've had bad luck taking out this Pidget in the past, and I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to take it out now. Oh, great. Sand attack. Thank you for that. Thunderbolt! Go! It landed! That should be enough to take out the Pidget. Charge Thunderbolt indeed is enough. Please switch to something that Cube doesn't need to take out. Hey, a level for Cube. I will take it. And no, Cube is not getting EV points anymore. I've maxed those out a long time ago. Yes, all right, he switches to a ride on, so Cube's accuracy will come back up. I will switch uh, to a Popeye. Yes, a Popeye. Uh, he's got the ride on in uh, the remakes here. This is the first time we're gonna see a ride on. Uh, if you're playing the originals in red and blue, he's got a ride on. In yellow, he does not. <laughs> it kind of gets complicated with yellow, uh, but he does not have a ride on. It, it really does vary what he's going to send out next. Let's say he sends out his Alakazam second in yellow. It'll be a level 59 Alakazam for you, but uh, for everybody else, 59 ride on in the remakes and. 61 Ride On in the originals. Ride On is the evolution of Rhyhorn. I think this is the first time we've seen a Ride On, but because it's the evolution and it grew a tail that I don't think I've ever noticed before, that is so weird that the rhinoceros has a long ass tail like that. It has no special defense. So it will be easily taken out with a surf. Ride On. Good in certain situations, but this is not one of them. All right, who's going to bring out next? Executor. Executor. In these versions of the game, he will have as long as he doesn't have a Venusaur. The way that Choo Choo works, your rival works here, is that he will have one water type, one fire type, and one grass type in his party. If he doesn't have Venusaur, then he has to replace that grass type and is going to be Executor. I'm going to bring in Lord Yawn for that. Uh, that's the way that it works in red and blue as, yell as well. Uh, if you're playing yellow, uh, he will have an executor pretty much as long as he does not have a Flareon. He will have that. And if he has the Flareon... No, actually, he will have it in, in all versions if you have yellow. Even if you have the Flareon, he will have that. All right, we'll bring out Lord Yawn. And yellow will always be an executor, and it'll be two levels higher than it is for us, which means level 61. I'm going to start off with a drill pack. Lord John, what can you do against executor here? That might have been too much, right in the sweet spot where he loves to heal. All right, it goes for sleep powder. It lands, but Lord John might get out of that immediately. 
All right, we'll go for another drill pack because I'm pretty sure he's going to heal. Indeed, he does. There's always that little delay where you're like, ah, he healed. Come on, Lord Yon, get out of it. Damn it, Lord Yon. This is your ability to get out of sleep quickly. You better do it this time. There we go. Go for another drill pack. Super effective. And he's got an egg bomb. Should yeah, do a lot of damage, but not enough to kill. I don't believe he'll heal him again, so we're gonna go. He dies, are you kidding me? When will you learn, my friend? When will you learn about the power of Lord Yon? Another drill pack. Back down to red. I don't think he's gonna heal him again. No, he does not. Okay. It's not necessarily a one, one full restore per Pokemon rule, but he does have a limit on them, at least. Okay. He's going to switch to his Alakazam if you are playing the original versions. Actually, no, no, no. If you're playing any version of the game, he's got an Alakazam. <laughs> doesn't matter what you chose. doesn't matter if you're playing yellow. He's got an Alakazam. He always does. So we are going to switch to my Alakazam killer, which is Fistimich. Fistimich, so good against Alakazam. I swear Alakazam is the second best Pokemon in the game. Despite the fact that I have absolutely destroyed it every time we've he it's been thrown out against me. Alakazam fully evolved. We had to trade in order to get that. Who did Choo Choo train trade with? All right, we're going to start off with a fake out just to see how much damage that does. Yeah, Alakazam is pretty weak defensively. And we'll go for a strength to finish it off. Down goes the Alakazam. Just not enough defense, but if you can use Alakazam properly, which I don't know what you would have done other than get your levels. It's so good. All right, he's got a Gyarados coming out now. A Gyarados is the water type that your rival will have as long as he doesn't have Blastoise, a water type of his own. That works for red and blue as well. If you're playing yellow, uh, then he will not have a water type because you have an electric type in your party in your starter Pikachu. So he will not have a Gyarados. Instead, he tries to focus more on fire, electricity, well, he might have a water type if, if he's got Vaporeon, but he's not going to have a Gyarados, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, he'll have a, an Executor, Nine Tails, and a Magneton, and oddly enough, a Cloister. He's got a Cloister, which is his water type, but it, it, to me, it doesn't really count. It's water ice, but still, Cloister. You will have a Cloister sometime. All right, Cube, this is the real reason that you're in the party. Like, Lorelei can be difficult and all that kind of stuff, but really I want electricity to take out Gyarados. And he almost always has it, because I rarely choose Charizard. Alright, Thunderbolt! Four times strong against a Gyarados. Should be able to take it out. And it does. Down goes the Gyarados. Down it goes. And now he switches to his main. Alright, this is where things get difficult. He's got his main. It's a very high level. Uh, if you're playing the remakes, it's level 63. If you're playing the originals, it is level 65. You don't need me to tell you who his, who his main is going to be. I'm sure you know by now. I can't believe I'm doing this. Kenny! I have a favor to ask. I need you to put him to sleep. Come on, Kenny. Yes! The hypnosis lands! The hypnosis lands. I can't believe it landed. All right, Dream Eater. It's not strong against him, but damn it, it is a powerful attack. How much does this do? 
Not too much. Not too much, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, we'll go for another Dream Eater. It'll probably get low enough so that it eats its berry. In these versions of the game, it has a berry. Is it going to eat the berry? Yeah, there we go. It eats the berry. All right, I'm going to go for Dream Eater again. Come on, Dream Eater. Do a chunk of damage. If I get a critical, that'd be fantastic. Oh, it lived. It lived, and it'll be healed here. It'll be healed, so... I'm going to go for a Hypnosis to start. He's going to use a full restore. He saves him for his freaking name. I can't believe I'm using Kenny for this. Freaking Kenny! Hypnosis! Damn it, Kenny! This could kill you now! Yeah, down goes Kenny. Fire Blast! Kenny doesn't stand a chance. Down goes Kenny! Damn it, Kenny! This is why I brought you! This was it. This was the reason. Down you go. And that puts me in yet another conundrum here. I don't like... Popeye can't do it. He can't do it. I know he can't. He hasn't been able to do it the whole damn game. Why is he going to be able to do it now? Fist of Mitch. should have switched to Mr. Jensen. That's what I should have done. Ah, probably would have done the same. All right, we'll start with a fake out. We got rid of his citrus berry, that's something. Got rid of one full restore, but he might have infinite for his fucking main. I don't know. All right, we'll go for Dizzy Punch. I'm hoping for the, the Confuse to land. Fire, bla Fire Blast missed! Fist of Mitch! We win! Fist of Mitch! Down goes the Charizard. Fistimich is hit with recoil. I couldn't care less. Down goes the Charizard. Give me the experience. And we have defeated Choo Choo. No. That can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Give me your damn money. Don't make me reach back like a pimp. No. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Your mistake was coming against me. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion. Apparently it automatically transfers to me as soon as I beat him. Damn it, I did better than you. I had to beat the Elite Five. You just had to beat the Elite Four. I'm that much better than you, Choo Choo. Although I don't like to admit it. Dumpus. What the hell are you doing here, Oak? This doesn't have anything to do with the Pokédex. So, you've won! Sincerely, congratulations! You're the new Pokémon League champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on the Pokédex! Yeah, about that whole Pokédex thing, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be doing it. Also, you might notice that Samja is not in the party. I still have him, I swear. Dumpus, you have come of age. Choo Choo, I'm disappointed in you. Second place? That's another way to say first loser. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. You're terrible. There's one person in the world that's better at this than my own grandson. I have no grandson. Choo Choo, do you understand why you lost? I wasn't here to see why you lost, but I know. You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust, even though he never used a single friendship move. And hell if I've been treating my Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Well, he'll never become a champ again because he's never going to beat me. Dumpus. You understand that your victory was not just your own doing. Fuck you, you didn't help at all. This was all me. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. Oh, you mean like the Pokémon did it. 
Fistimich did it. Kenny disappointed me. All he did was get rid of the citrus berry. He missed the hypnosis twice in a row, man. Twice in a row. That's 40, 40. That's... Is that 16%? I had a 16% chance of doing what I did with Kenny. Kenny! Damn you, Kenny! Dumpus, come with me! <clears throat> Congratulations, Dumpus! This floor is the Pokémon Hall of Fame! Pokémon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokémon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Dumpus, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Dumpus! You and your Pokémon are Hall of Famers! Wait, does that heal them? Kenny needs to stay dead. He is dead for good. I mean, we're... Oh, yes, thank you for saving. And our Pokémon are being entered into the Hall of Fame! Cube, Popeye, Mr. Jensei, Lord Yawn, the Great One, Fistamitch, and the Dead One, Kenny. Can can we remove Kenny from this? He doesn't deserve. He he didn't do shit. He died. And that's all he did. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. I mean, yay! I did it. League champion. Congratulations. Don't trust that time. I was using frame skips so damn much. But I did it! Where the hell is he going? I guess nobody has anything more to say. So, I guess I'm done here? I'm, I'm the Pokemon League champion. I'm supposed to respond to any... any people that come to get me? Apparently not. I'm just going to start running. And we have beaten the game. It's kind of a weird ending, if you ask me, because it was never really our established goal that what we wanted to do was beat the Elite Four and become the Pokemon League champion. It kind of became a goal because that was all that people talked about, but our original goal was to complete the Pokedex. You leave Pallet Town never knowing anything about badges or the Pokemon League or the Elite Four or anything like that. You kind of find out that as you go along, that might have something to do with, you know, the difference between the original game designers and then when marketing got their hands on it. But that's the game. Uh, we have a ton of bonus episodes to go through, though, so don't think this is it. We, we have quite a bit. Screw you. Nobody likes you. Actually, everybody likes him. But I killed him, thanks to Vista Mitch. We had to sacrifice Kenny, but uh, that happens every episode anyway. So that is Pokemon. So it's kind of my time to kind of talk about the game a little bit. It's a weird game. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the game. But when you kind of step back to think about it, it's weird. It is a weird game. You catch Pokemon and you catch, you know, random animals in the wild and then fight with them. And somehow this is acceptable. Uh, in terms of gameplay, I absolutely love the battle system. The problem that I have with it is there's an issue when it comes to knowledge. And what I mean by that is when you get into a fight, you kind of have to know what you're up against in order to do well. The problem is that you they don't tell you, right? They just give you a name. They're like, hey, this guy's about to use an onyx. And if you've never heard of an onyx before, and you don't know that it's a rock ground type, you could get into quite a bit of problems. Braille? Sorry, that just threw me off that I saw the word braille on the screen. Um, in a lot of RPGs, that happens, right? You're thrown in, and you don't know what you're up against. Maybe you get a name, maybe you don't. And you don't know its weaknesses or anything like that. The difference in this game, I feel, is that it is much more reliant on elemental types and things like that and stats and your turns are more important in this game one turn will decide a battle i mean you saw how many pokemon i one-shotted in this game that could easily have been done to me if i wasn't paying attention and knowing uh what was coming a lot of times so with this it's more important for you to know what you're up against 
and they give you less information than other games. And in, you know, let's say Final Fantasy, they usually give you some kind of magic or something to figure out your opponent, to scan your opponent, and to get that kind of information. In this game, as far as I know, there's really no way to do that other than Google. But with that all said, I mean, that's my major flaw of the game, I would say. You were barely in this game. What are you doing? Just because you're the freaking mascot. Uh, plot. There's very little, like I said, they kind of start you off with one thing and then move you on to a completely different plot without your knowledge. Beating the game suddenly becomes being the Elite Four, which had nothing to do with your initial goal, which is completing the Pokedex. And if you complete the Pokedex, you just kind of get like a nice job. You don't, even, you don't get credits again. So it's kind of weird. But overall, I love this game. I highly recommend it to anybody that hasn't played it before. Play it for yourself. Get a whole different team than I got. Don't let them die like I did. I still feel bad about that. But that is the game. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've got plenty of bonus episodes to go through. This is not the end of the game, as much as the game kind of wants you to think it is. We have more to do, especially in these versions, but even in the originals, there is a bonus dungeon that we want to go through in the originals and this there's there's a lot to go through so we will go through that next time that's going to do it for these parts of let's play pokemon leaf green i've been baller scuba i've been joined as always by the champion dumpus and his remaining pokemon squad of mr jency fist and mitch lord yawn cube and popeye Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.